Hello, my name is E.J. Yon, and let's talk about the Bible. Now yesterday I talked about how Rebecca running to her mother to tell her what had happened is a hidden miracle that could be easily glossed over. Now it might seem insignificant, but when you consider all that had happened and then what happened afterwards is where it becomes more interesting. Because now when she was drawing water for the camels, she would have known how hard it was. But the thing is, she was not tiring as she thought she would be. And after all that work was done, she did not feel tired. So she ran home. And in her mind, she's thinking, this is weird. What is happening? This is something new. I did all that work and it was not that tiring. This was probably going through her mind. But when the servant came and when he explained the whole story over again, from beginning to finish, she knew that the God of Abram, the God of this servant, enabled her to do all that work without tiring. So, when the time came, when the servant says, let's go now, she picked up her stuff and left. That is the story of Rebecca's faith. Her faith did not just naturally spring up from nothing. She did not have that faith from the beginning. It was never by herself. The servant probably was sitting there beside her watching. It says, it's very interesting because in Genesis chapter 24, let me find the verse for you. A few moments later. From verse 19 onwards. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll draw water for your camels too, until they have finished drinking. So, that's 20, verse 20. So she quickly emptied her jaw into the trough, ran back to the well and to draw more water, and drew enough for all his camels. Now, listen to this. Without saying a word, this is verse 21, 21, without saying a word, the man watched her closely to learn whether or not the Lord had made his journey successful. The servant was watching this girl drawing water and not getting tired. If it was just for his sake to know that this girl is the chosen one, he would not have had to repeat the whole story. He would have just kept it to himself and say, yeah. You were the chosen one. Even without saying this, the family would have agreed to the marriage. As per custom, they would have agreed to the marriage. But the servant, after watching this young girl not get tired, she, he explained the whole process. By doing so, he is telling Rebecca about God. He's telling her, you were not getting tired. And guess what? Guess who enabled you to do that? Guess who enabled you to do all that work without tiring? Guess who work through you. It's God of my master, God of Abram. And that's why when Moses, when he was writing this story, decided 
to write this almost word for word over again because it was that significant, that important for the reasoning behind how Rebecca picked up everything and left the next day. Her relationship with God started in that moment with that small miracle hidden between the lines. This is how I do my Bible studies. This is how I try to read between the lines and see God's touch within the lives of the characters within the Bible. So come along for the ride. Subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Comment below. I read all the comments. There's none right now. But if you do, I will definitely read them. And share with a friend, if you will. Bye-bye. That's why Moses, when he writ, wrote the reasoning behind how Rachel, uh,